Hey, what's up you guys? Thanks for checking out this video. We're going to talk a little bit about the community show specifics and try and separate those comments a little bit from the other ones because that's kind of a big deal. It's one of the things that I'm most hyped about, most excited about. Uh, so just to break it down, I wasn't as articulate as I would have liked to have been in the previous video, so I want to break it down for you. Um, what I want to have happen on that is some capacity of community interaction that I don't feel anyone else is doing. Uh, so I either want you to play against me in Magic with, you know, your side, like not you giving commentary on what your cards are or anything, but just us having banter back and forth, talking and stuff like that. I wanna have videos like that. And, you know, short of that, I wanna have videos where we just play against each other. And then you can feel free to submit a video response to it where you have filmed how your feelings on the match were and, and what you thought happened and are you serious why is no one playing this game today everybody's scared of me i've been beating too much ass today let's try and get in the game before we continue blathering on that sounds awesome let's play this guy he's got an angry face oh here we go we're off to the races uh, so those are the two things that I really want to focus on, but you know The dream the big thing that would be super cool is me sharing my screen and having you guys guests comment on What you think I should be doing like sure I played that digraph cool or should I held on to it? Probably shouldn't have held on to it, but if you guys said that I would be like I strongly and respectfully disagree I'm gonna go ahead and play my one drop on turn one and you guys would be like yeah That seems good because you're good at the game by and large um but yeah, I think it'd be really awesome because you guys could ask me why I'm playing certain things the way I'm playing them. Uh, it'd be a great way to just kind of discuss comments and stuff at the same time. And that's my idea. Obviously, there's hurdles with that too. Now, I wouldn't be, you know, I, I wouldn't be opposed to, to you guys being excited about it and anything like that, you know what I mean? And, and wanting to do it immediately. But, uh... The hurdles and the difficulties that we'd have is, is just figuring out if it's okay for me to include you guys in that capacity. Like, will I get in trouble with YouTube or anybody else for having, you know, people's voices on the channel that, you know, aren't like part of the channel? No, I don't think so or anything, but it's all stuff that I need to, to check into. Uh, and then also, I don't know if I'm able to have people that are under 18 on it because they can't agree to any like legal type of thing. Uh, so I don't think you can legally sign off on me using your voice in a video unless you're 18. So there's, there's all those kinds of issues, but that's going to take a lot of nitpicking and a lot of dissecting different things that... I'm not going to devote the time to that if there's no interest in this idea or this proposal. And if there are issues with those types of things, then what we will do is we will set up, you know, a date and a time where you guys can come and face me and you will be in the video. So it'll at least be that there's like three steps of it. There's the really extreme awesome step that I want to do where you guys see my screen and we talk. There's the, you know, your point of view video where we face each other. And then there's the lesser extent, which would just be us playing against each other uh, with no commentary from your part, no audio from your part. Uh, so that's where I'm at right now with it. Obviously there are those issues. There are those scenarios that we'd have to look into. Uh, but before I do all that, I want to make sure that there's even a reason for this you know a reason to to start working on this um so that's where i'm at right now and that's what we're talking about and uh just let me know still in the comments how you feel about that and what you think about that uh we're dealing nine damage to this guy's face jack zoned 30 12 he's thinking about blocking which he probably should yeah uh taking him into 15 now Grave Pact I want to hold on to in case he has uh, all his dust because it'll destroy Grave Pact. That'll make me sad. I really want to play it after he's at least done one all his dust. Um, that is not great. Oh, because if I can do it after the one all his dust, then he'll probably only have the, the big dudes left. And yeah, he got uh, Ugens. So that's a thing. 
Uh, and if that's the case, then it, it's possible that we'll be able to... Oh, well, that's a thing I can do. Do I play the other one of these guys? I think I do. I think I do. I think I bash here. That's 19 damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, but I'm worried about that all this dust. That's the thing I'm worried about. It only costs him, what, six now? Something like that? Okay, so we did kill that. Yeah, we still do a lot of damage to him. So here's the thing. Do I grab the Primeval Titan or do I grab this guy? I don't think I do any of it right now. I think I wait to see what he has, to be honest with you. The other thing with all his dust is that if he puts a bunch of uh, those dudes down, those big colorless dudes down, then I will play Grave Pact, because if he all in all his dusts, it wouldn't normally be set up that his colorless permanence would be destroyed. But if I have Grave Pact out, it'll take care of that problem. We won't have to worry about it. This guy is gaining a lot of life. I will say that about him. So I can get that guy back. I kind of just want a grave pact here. Because I have pretty strong... I have pretty strong ways of dealing with after the oldest dust. Because I have the consuming vapors. I have... Uh, I have other goodies, so. He's gained a ton of life, which makes me sad. So we've really gotta start working the body here, getting through this. Yeah, he doesn't like that. It's nine damage though, sir, you'll be at eight. What? That's weird. Grave Pact still activates. I wonder what he was doing there. He wants to draw that card. I might just reanimate that guy, but I kind of want to wait until after he board wipes, because I am scared of the board wipe. I do think that that's not only pro possible, it's probable, so. Oh, he's just got a second Pelica Worm. That's nasty for me. Don't want to attack with a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, that's a good call. Um... That helps with the all is dust for sure. And now I can just sit and chill and try and grab one of my dudes. And that's nice too, because if he does the all is dust, then I get at least one of my dudes back into my hand. So we'll go ahead and just pass. He does do an awful lot of damage to me with that trample, but I will block with my 4-3. So now this guy comes back after the board wipe. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff that I can do here. I might need to start consuming vapors though. Get that guy back. Oh, that's awesome. He's got sack two out. I wonder if he, I mean, he lets the 6-4 in, right? I mean, it'd be awesome if he didn't, because then I get to wipe his board with the Gravecrawler flesh bag. Yeah, he just let it in. Gravecrawler. Flesh bag. I was going to say, did that not go off? Because I was about to get pissed. This game is super janky today. So weird. Yeah, Pelican Worm goes off, but you have to sack a second dude. Yep. What else do I have in here? Like the same guy. So I'll just, I'll just play this. Do I want to play that Pelican Worm, you guys? I don't know. I can't really decide. I want to keep reanimate, actually. I have to keep reanimate. Because if he does board wipe, then I can get something back. 
Ooh, he's bringing somebody. So that's the thing. That's why I always like to to sack Fleshbag when I can can bring him back. You know? Wow. Apparently that sentence was impossible for me to say. So much friggin' life gain. God. Put the land. See if that scares him. Let's put this guy out. Cause I wanna get funky. Bring the bring the noise. Uh, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Go. Cause I can bring him back. That's a lot of damage, my friend. That's a lot of math for you to have to do. That's the best block. Oh damn it. Yeah, fair enough. Nothing else? Sixteen? I mean, he knows he has to block something else, right? Okay, there you go. That's the thing you're doing. Get rid of a dude. He's drawing cards like a fiend. Yep. And yep. My dude comes back. Hell. Uh, I could just close the deck and bring... But I kind of want to do that on my attack, don't I? No, because... I can still bounce that guy back up. Let's do that. He's only got one more of those available to him. I'm at nine, but now I have an Annihilate guy. And I can still bounce that guy back up into my hand. That's what I was talking about. I think I just said, like, the syllables bounce or something. But they were, like, disjointed and they weren't words. I was like, bounce. Oh, much like what he just did. Salty Sally Pants getting out of the game because the game's got him all is dust like a son of a bee that's fine i'm like completely fine with that because the 10-9 stays out and just punches him in the nuts the hell is all going off down there oh great pact yep you're sacking all your dudes Skarundar. sacking them silly Exploring. It's not gonna be enough, dude. I got a 10-9 coming for you. Coming at you. Actually, just corrupt your face. Kaboom! So many different ways to kill you. Gotta love the black deck, you guys. It's so good. It's so good. It's like impossible to beat. Alright, guys, thanks a lot for uh, listening to me ramble on about stuff. Uh, we got new equipment in this week, so I'm really excited about that. At the very least, we're going to start recording some of the other stuff that we talked about yesterday. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thanks a lot, you guys. i uh, really looking forward to what you have to say. I haven't posted either video yet, uh, so I have no idea what's going on. But uh, hopefully you enjoy the ideas, and uh, hopefully you're excited, as excited as I am. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.